Hey, all right. Tonight's book is called I Repeat, I Don't Cheat. All right. Jessica was a worry word. She worried about a lot of things. She worried about falling off her bike and getting bit by a spider and remembering to feed Wiggles and seeing aliens in the backyard. But at school, Jessica had a new worry. Her best friend Lizzie, Lizzie had started copying Jessica's spelling words when, Miss, when Mr. Martin gave a test. The teacher had explained that wasn't allowed. I repeat, don't cheat, he told the class. Jessica wondered if she should tell Mr. Martin, but if she tattled on Lizzie, then Lizzie wouldn't be a friend anymore. So Jessica decided not to tell. During recess, Jessica had a new worry. When she tagged Lizzie, Lizzie refused to be it. You didn't tag me, she said. Did too, yelled Jessica. Did not, yelled Lizzie. Jessica knew that she had tagged her friend. I saw Jessica tag, tag you too, said Sherrod. You're it, Lizzie. I don't want to play anymore, said Lizzie, and she sat down in the grass. Mrs. Hicks, the playground aide, came over. Are you all right, she asked. Jessica says she tagged me, said Lizzie, but she's lying. That's not true, said Sherrod. I saw her do it. Are you sure you tagged Lizzie? Mrs. Hicks asked Jessica. Jessica was confused. If she told Mrs. Hicks the truth, then Lizzie would be mad at her. If Jessica didn't tell the truth, then she would be lying. Her worries felt like ants crawling on her stomach. Maybe I thought I did, but I really didn't, she mumbled. On Saturday, Lizzie asked Jessica for a play date. Jessica wasn't sure she wanted to go, but Lizzie said her mom would take them out for pizza. So Jessica said yes. After pizza, the two girls sat in Lizzie's room and drew pictures. You're really good at art, said Jessica. I like to draw, said Lizzie. Lizzie went and got her workbook. Could you help me with my T-word poem? Said she asked. Jessica decided this was, this was okay. Mr. Martin always let the kids help one another except during tests. You could write about a tree, said Jessica. That's boring, said Lizzie. How about a tarantula? Too hard to spell, said Jessica. How about a toe, said Lizzie. Perfect, said Jessica. What, a, what words describe a toe? Wart, said Lizzie. Gross, said Jessica. How about wiggly? Okay, Lizzie said. My toes are very wiggly. Anything else, said Jessica. Maybe later, said Lizzie. And she picked up a marker. Let's draw some more. I can think of some other toe words, said Jessica. So while Lizzie drew and Jessica finished the poem, she wrote the words down in Lizzie's workbook. Toe, wiggly, pink like a rose, small like a nose, curly, soft. The next day, Mr. Martin asked the class to share their poems. Lizzie read Jessica's toe poem out loud. Great job, said Mr. Martin. Then he looked at Lizzie's workbook. And, Your writing looks neat and nice today. I'm very happy with your progress. Jessica knew she should be happy for her friend too, but she felt miserable. That's really my poem that Mr. Mr. Martin liked, she thought, but Lizzie didn't tell him that I helped. Jessica wanted to say something, but she wasn't sure she would. She should. So she sat in her chair and soaked. When Mr. Martin asked Jessica to read her poem out loud, she wished she could disappear. Her poem wasn't very good. It was about a tree, and it was only two lines long. It's not finished, said Jessica. But what she really wanted to say was, Lizzie already read my poem, the toe poem that you like so much. That night, Jessica d couldn't sleep. She tossed and turned. She said, some, she, said she, she should say something to Mr. Martin. Should she say something to Lizzie? Should she say something to Mom and Dad? At breakfast, Jessica didn't feel like eating. She was too busy worrying about Lizzie. Do you feel all right, asked Mom. Please pass the orange juice, said Tom. Why are my gym, where are my gym shorts, said Laura. Where are my socks, said Dad. 
Do best friends ever, ever cheat? Asked Jessica. What? Said Mom. Jessica then heard the bus outside. She grabbed her lunch and math money and ran out the door. In class, Mr. Martin asked the class to count their coins. Lizzie whispered to Jessica, Can you give me some of yours? This time, Jessica didn't feel like helping Lizzie. No, she said. You'll have to borrow from somebody else. Quickly, Lizzie stuck her hand into a jar of Jessica's money. Stop that, shouted Jessica. Mr. Martin rushed over. What's the trouble, he asked. Lizzie took some of my money, said Jessica, and that poem about the tone was not about the toe was my poem, not Lizzie's. Lizzie's face turned as red as, ger as a geranium. Lizzie asked Mr. Martin, did you take Jessica's money without asking? No, said Lizzie. I mean, yes I did, because Jessica wouldn't share. But if you had asked nicely, said Mr. Martin, I'm sure she would have shared. I did ask nicely, but she just got mad. Jessica couldn't believe her ears. Now she really was mad. Words gushed out of her like lava. Lizzie asked me to help her out with a poem, but I ended up writing the whole thing, she blurted, and she copied my spelling words, and that's enough, Mr. Mr. Martin, interrupted Mr. Martin. It looks as if Lizzie has made some poor choices. Lizzie, I think you need to sit at the thinking desk until you sort this whole thing out. And Jessica, it was nice of you to help your friend, but there's a dis difference between helping and doing. Jessica sighed. She looked down at her own poem. Then she wrote, tall like a giraffe, pointy, pointy like a pencil, leaves claps in the wind. She drew a tree above the, above the words. It wasn't as nice as the tree, tree as Lizzie would have drawn, but it was good enough. Great job, said Mr. Martin. He tacked Jessica's work on the bulletin board. The next day, Lizzie told Mr. Martin, I don't need to sit at the thinking table anymore. I'm going to do my own work from now on. Lizzie walked over to Jessica and said, I'm sorry for all the things I did that I made and that I made you mad. I made you a present. Lizzie had drawn a picture of her and Jessica scribbled on the top were the words, best friends forever. Jessica gave Lizzie a hug. You're still my best friend, she said, and you're a great artist. You're still my best friend too, said Lizzie, and you're a great poet. Best friends forever. All right, I hope y'all like the book. I hope y'all got the message of it. Be good and don't cheat and do your work, okay? Love y'all, bye.